hello good day and welcome to the channel before we begin today how are you doing just tell me how you're doing in the comments if you're watching me on facebook how are you guys on facebook hope you're doing good now today um we have a couple of things to discuss so let me just give you a breakdown on the things we are talking about in this video first of all we are going to be looking extensively at what abel damina himself had to say that i found really shocking myself right here on social media which actually portraysses the point of what this video is mainly about which concerns um some intention or would i say an act of diabolism if i'm to put it that way that happens in church such that um some people that call themselves men and women of god are being known to get some form of spiritual powers or would i say some form of assistance for them to help god i don't know if you understand it in the essence of what i'm saying now is that indeed whether you like it or not believe it or not there are some people that call themselves men and women of god that use diabolic means for them to gather crowd there's a difference between a crowd there's a difference between a church and then it also comes to a difference between people of the kingdom uh, we are going to be looking at that as we go on with some other discussions with regards to religion and church but also to add this I don't know if you have noticed right here on the page or maybe on the platform that I did a little test. That was a test for me because um, I have a playlist on this particular channel, Being Real George, that talks only things about Nigeria. Some people will say in the comments, why don't you channel this energy to talk about the things happening in the country? It's because you are just trying to <laughs> sway me away <laughs> from what it is that um, is pinching you. But for a fact, of course, I talk about things happening in Nigeria. So um, that's why I have more of like two platforms so what i'm doing right now is that on george vlogs which is a broader channel to this channel because of some of you that follow me for over a year understand the things i would want to say but i don't have to repeat myself again so on george vlogs it's going to be more about things happening in the society a lot of things happening in the secular world as well and also some things happening in the church but mainly being real george is going to be looking at news and trends of things happening in the church as you get to look at them and learn from them as well because i'm not your man of god i am not your pastor okay i am just an analyst here to do a simple job add volume and make trends make sense if you don't like that that one not your business it go vex you tire okay let's get straight to this video as we look at abel damina apostle joshua Salman, and maybe one extra person in this video if time permits let's go Before we begin, I, I want us to really, really appreciate this woman, uh, Maureen Badejo. Can we clap for her a little bit? Now, this particular leaked message I want to look at right now because, you see, my eye don't read now because, see, wait, I won't look now and I very, very coded thing. So, let me tell you, viewer discretion advised, okay? The things you're about to hear, the things you're about to see are things that are not really, really normal to your ears because most of you have been christians all your life and can never even believe such things happen but there's a place i am heading to we are going to get there with time but it's just slow and steady wins the race okay so um what you're about to look at right now on your screen all right the, the whole background is going to change is something very very not so good so i'm telling you please you can stop watching now and go because if you like you can type whatever in the comments by yourself you did do um, there's a leaked conversation I saw on Maureen Badejo's page, okay, which I want to correct a few things as I get to look at that particular leaked conversation and it's going to continue to a part two of me actually buttressing some points that were in that leaked conversation because some things that I saw in this conversation between someone that is a prophetess, you can check the name that you see on the message on Facebook, you will see that this is a real account and somebody. Now, when I was watching Maureen Badejo share this particular conversation um, that was leaked between a prophetess and someone that wants to help her acquire some form of spiritual power we are going to be reading the message together she said it was a whatsapp conversation so this is not a whatsapp conversation as you are going to be looking at it it's a facebook conversation now the mobile network that was used to have this conversation is not a mobile network that is in nigeria so obviously the person that was chatting with this particular prophetess is was either in nigeria using a foreign network or is in a foreign country either us uk or anywhere in europe um chatting with this particular prophetess but from the look of the conversation which you are going to be seeing as we go on 
the prophetess i think knows this person or maybe this person came into the country blah 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 or whatever because i have to pay attention to details as i talk about things so now this message i don't know how maureen badejo got this message okay but um she didn't disclose that emphatically when she was making that particular um live stream and talking about this but from it um this is a screenshot from the person that sent it to or that was having this conversation with this particular prophetess and then the person sent it to her or someone that is an insider of that particular person that you know was having this conversation with this prophetess is the person that screenshotted it and then sent it to her just like we are looking at um apostle johnson suleiman's um leaked messages and his escapades with women it was someone that was an insider amos that took screenshots of his mobile conversations with women daniela okeka and the rest of them and then sent it to um maureen badejo which eventually got to me as well and i got to analyze it and talk about the things there so like i always tell you guys the insider issue is something really really significant right here so let's look at the messages and i hope i don't waste your time but if this video goes too long i'm going to cut it into parts so you get to see the other part in the um pin comment if you're watching me on um, facebook those on if you're watching me on youtube those on facebook might have to go on youtube to find the continuation of this video so let's look at the leaked message as well i make videos about what i see if you don't like it go and hug a transformer one eh? okay let's continue now the first message right here as you can see on the top of the screen prophetess gift to you there's actually an account on facebook with this particular name and has the same picture right now there's an, the account has a facebook page and has a um um a facebook you know normal account with friends so if you know who she is please i would like her you could tag her and let, let her confirm if this is actually um a, a decoy or would i say if this is actually fake or if it is real if it is real because right now this person has the same profile picture and if you look at the date it's going to make sense as we go on with a couple of things so the person that was talking to her if you if you are using facebook messenger just check how facebook messenger is and you will know that this is actually not from her but actually from the person chatting with her or someone that leaked it from the person that is chatting with her okay so the person said hello she said hi um the, the person now said i have made inquiry for you that means maybe they have been talking before this time and i only help those under covenant oh <laughs> you people know the covenant uh, um some churches that you know let me let, let's not go there and you have a seal and you have to seal your mouth when you have secrets in your hands the, the lady said okay he now said stop revealing things to people anyhow that means you know women ch -ch 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 -ch, maybe she has gone and touch talk, talking i'm not saying women are just gossip so even me right now what i'm doing it might look like gossip but i make gossips i analyze gossip so i'm not like a gossiper i make sense out of the gossip the gossip can favor you or not favor you in the end hallelujah um so um continuing um she said i don't even have friends just tell me what to do and it's done um the person now said there is a suspicious thing in there is no suspicious thing involved life generally is a mystery the woman said yeah then moving on to the next part of the conversation is the so um the man now said um what you don't know is bigger than you and there are unseen forces responsible for success for a fact of course when i god blesses the work of your hand so either you are being a christian that is faithful or you know practicing your uh, your faith and god blesses the work of your hands or maybe of course there are unseen forces either in the dark or in the you know the light realm that actually you know propels and adds volume to your success but what this person is saying here is right the woman now said yes that is true the person now said there are forces that back men up now we are getting to the juicy part of this conversation she now said yes the person now says either business ministry etc she said okay please help me i don't want to tell let's continue with that in the next part um i don't want to tell stories with more struggles in 2018 so now look at the timeline of this conversation back in 2018 so when i had to check to see if this was actually um you know made up when i checked the the platform of facebook messenger how it was on in 2018 facebook messenger was like this so it made it made logical sense to me so this was back in 2018 this person actually has a church right now and runs a ministry okay you could see the picture on your screen right now more of like i wouldn't say like a big mega church because many of the people you'll see in the comments now if you're watching me on facebook because facebook for a fact i don't know what is happening right there okay 
there's someone that helps me a whole lot thanks to the amazing woman that just posts my videos on facebook so if you think you are cursing me out on facebook or something i don't even know what is going on so you have to come on youtube here and then if you want me to listen to you i listen to you all right so um and i will say and uh, the person i say i now say whoop na me <laughs> The person now said, yeah, I have a strong backup and I can't disclose the source, but I can represent you as regarding whatever the seer says from the land of the spirit. Wow. He now went on to say, my mommy is a nice woman. She is the mother of wealth, power and fame. Connection. Let's continue. Live connection. Um, live prophecy and those things. Live prophecy. We are going to be getting to this subject of life prophecy when we get to what Abel Damina himself had to say, which makes a whole lot of sense with this whole thing. So the woman now said, okay, now the main reason for all those things is for fame, wealth and money, power and connection. The person repeats. The woman now said, yes, they will, he now said here, um, they will give you genuine power, power to see evidence. They will give you genuine power power to see evidence so that first there's a long way we have to go with this but let's continue and try to finish this conversation in this first part at least because the time is really running out some of you don't like watching long videos because you don't have data but don't worry <laughs> you will continue all right she now said um okay where is the location she asked the location for where these things can be done and the man said be coming down madam be coming down or oh, oh, baragina hot dog could just be I, I keep telling you people in the comment section when i start my videos and i say ah this person has miss yan sometimes there's some you have to understand psychology for me to keep you watching the video i have to say some things at the beginning to hook you to think that oh this person has said something bad only for you to listen to the person and see that this person is actually saying the truth and because of your gullibility and because you're a follower of man <laughs> you start cursing me out in the comment section but I, I i have ways to keep you watching because whether you like it or not what i am interested in is for you to hear that thing i want you to hear so however i'm able to take you there it's not manipulation it's clear psychology <laughs> some people say this guy here is talking about manipulation but he's a manipulator but in the end I, in the end of the video because some of you don't watch my videos to the end in the end of the video i still sit down and explain everything that has happened from the beginning how i got you to where you are right now and you'll be like ah god but some people they will still be angry ay, 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 ay. i don't blame you sha you now continued here okay so the she, she now said lol okay sir and i said um how am i saying i now said god the person now said if i tell you will you go now as i'm talking to you now i am communicating with them that means he's, he's talking with or he or she is talking with those that helped him he now she now went on um via call so they said it is 24 so they say in 24 hours or two days they will give you they will give me instructions for you wow that means they can see in the spirit realm um what she has to do um he now said i already gave them your name but now uh, but vow not to look back there is no human sacrifice no nonsense okay so no human sacrifice no nonsense all right later we're going to be looking at this particular quote and unquote man of god those of you that will hate me you will hate me to your till thy kingdom come um onyeze because he also talks about the fact that what he does is not with human sacrifice but they do it with goods and all those kind of things you see these these things are happening in the name of jesus the only problem i have most times is that when i talk about the big names that you people know like the uh, Suleiman and the Obotofu uh, Feyin and the rest of them ah you see because this one they have social media following they have warriors keyboard warriors they will come on Dara they will come on the comment waka 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 I say put this one safe in the end you are sitting down there and watching me can't you use sense stop watching me and move on with your life but you come and sit down watch me and defend whatever the day your eyes will open like this our pastor here that used to work for Suleiman and now she came to realize a couple of things and on one day she, she dropped back one day when your eyes open he <laughs> pull back okay but the goal here is not to bring anyone down share with you the truth that you should know and like we say the truth you know shall set you free if the truth you know doesn't set you free you are intentionally in bondage on your own so i don't have i don't i don't blame you i'm not here uh, i don't care whatever you whatever you want to do in them you understand my if they if the people themselves can repent and change their ways look at right now 
Leke Adeboye, I made a video about, in case you didn't know, I made a video about Leke Adeboye um, on my other channel, George Vlogs, when he called pastors um, um, goats. He came out and apologized publicly. That is what people do. No matter his pride, his arrogance, or whatever, as people have said in the comments. Because I read your comments, those of you on, uh, on, on YouTube, and um, that his pride and arrogance is, you know, prodigal son, blah, blah, blah. In the end, he came out publicly and apologized for what he did, saying that he's going through his own, you know, punishment internally and all that. But I think we should clap for him, please. How many of the ones, the big names you have seen here that uh, we have talked about and even exposed most of them, have they come out to apologize? Some of them have been caught red-handed. Their naked pictures are circulating everywhere, but they will never, they don't even accept that they are the one. I don't know if you understand, but this is, at least this is something, even if, if, if it's just for PR, I don't care. But for him to come out publicly and apologize like this, it's a good thing. Because social media here, one day, it, social media does not forget to, internet does not forget. But let's go on. Look at Judas, for example. Judas healed the sick. Judas cast out devils. Judas cleansed the lepers. But Judas did not have the Holy Ghost. Judas didn't have the Holy Ghost. When Jesus sent them out two by two, he said, heal the sick, cast out devils, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers. Freely you have received, freely give. Judas was among them. Judas was with them. He was busy casting out demons and healing the sick. But he did not have the Holy Ghost. Just like the Old Testament prophets, they prophesied, but they didn't have the Holy Ghost. Hence, they didn't see, they didn't hear, they didn't perceive. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works this is where many christians get messed up you think because a man of god is prophesying he has the spirit of god and you think because a so-called man of god is healing the sick and casting out devils and you think he has the spirit of god now you've seen that it's obvious that a man can prophesy a man can cast out devils a man can heal the sick but he is not of god signs wonders miracles are not a proof of god's presence don't be carried away that's why jesus will say an evil generation seek for sign an evil generation and he says none shall be given to them except the sign of jonas what is the sign of jonas death burial resurrection which is the message what is it called the message what we have in christianity that is exclusive to us is the message is the message that is why the church centers around the message the church is not built on miracle signs and wonders the church is built on the diet which is christ the message many will say to me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name somebody say, but the man is prophesying and even calling jesus look at it now have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name have done many wonderful works and then will i profess unto them i never knew you never knew that is i and you never met we never met this is jesus talking i and you never met i never knew you depart from me ye that walk iniquity so prophecy healing casting out demons can be iniquity they can and the works of iniquity that means there'll be folks like this like judas who prophesied worked miracles where did he give them the power to cast out the demons in luke chapter 9 verse 1 when he gave them the power judas was with them then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases and judas was part of that but when jesus was saying rejoice your names are written in heaven judas was not part of it judas was part of the casting out of demons and healing the sick and all that but judas didn't have his name written in heaven his name wasn't in heaven when he gave them power and authority over all devils was it the holy ghost he gave them no it wasn't the holy ghost but did they go with power did they cast out demons so a man can cast out demons without the holy ghost a man can heal the sick without the holy ghost and a man can prophesy without the holy ghost holy ghost is regeneration holy ghost is born again so a man can cast out demons and he's not born again and a man can prophesy but he's not born again Hallelujah. 
now quick announcements i'm moving the second part of the text messages as i also look at apostle joseph solomon and what he had to say in another video now at the time of you watching this on youtube if you're watching this right now it's already out and it's in the pinned comment it is not public now that is yeah because um you know i have to manage the time of which i upload videos so that people can get to see it when they have to see it but if you want to see it before it is being uploaded officially it's already out in the pain comment or you can have to wait for the next 24 hours to see the continuation which will then come up as an upload but it's already on the channel and i usually have many videos on my channel just that i just wake up one day click publish and it becomes visible for you to see but if you want to see the invisible right now you can click in the pin comment to see it. if you're watching this on facebook you might have to go on youtube to continue this particular video if you are interested signing off <laughs> Only to Only do me a show.